welcome everybody joined by our three indoor track and field All-Americans, Amira Dardier, Amy Regan, and Gladys Njoku. Gladys, Amy, Amira, thanks a ton for the time and congrats on an awesome uh, on an awesome experience and an, and an awesome finish for you guys. You guys finished 10th nationally, um, best finish in school history. Um, Amir, I'll start with you. I guess when you're when you were recruited to Stevens, the national finish really, I guess, wasn't in the cards or, or hadn't been done before. And then all of a sudden, you guys, two years later, are 10th. Uh, just talk about, I guess, the growth of the team and and what you've seen in your three years here as, as a junior. Well, um, I think coming in, um, we definitely are stronger now. We have more numbers. We have, you know, multiple qualifiers. And for me personally, I don't think coming in, I could have um, expected this because even this season, the growth alone with um, Ozzy and Veronica um, helping us out, it's just been tremendous. And um, if you would have told me to get a season, I would have qualified for nationals in all American. I wouldn't have believed it. So just, you know, they each bring something different. And I think um, we've definitely like, grown over the past three years I've been here. And I think we um, Amy, if, if you could kind of go off that, you've grown so much in the first, as a team, stick with the team for now, um, you've grown so much in the first couple years, where do you see yourselves going? I mean, is, is the sky the limit? I guess, what are the goals for the team? I definitely think, like, for, um, especially, like, the, the distance runners, like, we're getting a lot more, like, recruits in, like, a lot of the freshmen are strong, and the uh, upperclassmen were just training more, and um, with coaches, like, training plan, you know, we're like staying a lot more healthy than last year. We're getting, um, we're able to like run. Um, the training's just progressing, and we can see that progression in the in the results every weekend. And I think you know, with like rest, recovery, and then training, and that process that he has us going on, um, I really think there's um, a lot of improvement for the future, and you'll definitely see that soon. Um, Gladys, you tied for first in the high jump, then ended up finishing second after a jump off. Amira, you were sixth. I think you tied for third and then ended up just the tie break because you ended up finishing um, sixth in the high jump. And then Amy, you were third, excuse me, you were eighth in the 3K, fifth in the 5K. Um, so all those All American finishes, all top eights, um, you know, which result in All Americans. Um, Gladys, talk a little, take us a little bit, take us just through your experience and I guess what you were thinking, you know, when you tied, and then take us through getting second. Um, I remember being being very excited, just because I didn't think I'd get that far. Ozzy has been working with us a lot. I was a little frustrated though, just because when you're competing at such a high level, you're shooting for first all the time. You want to do your best. Um, but I am actually very happy with the result. Next season, I really do want to be a national champion, and maybe later on in my career, I'll be able to expand to other events as well. Um, do you immediately think, all right, you're done with indoor NCAAs, or are we immediately looking towards, okay, I want to be an All-American in the outdoor level, or is that not really a fair comparison? Definitely. That's exactly what it is. I have goals, and, you know, Ozzy's training, he always looks for the biggest prize you can get, and he, like, the way he's training us right now, I'm sure that we can always get our best, and right now my best to me is being a national champion. Um, Amir, where do you see yourself um, going from here, sixth place in the high jump, you're also, you know, uh, heralded and, and really strong cross country runner as well. Where do you want to go? What are your goals? Maybe the rest of this year and then moving forward. Um, well, I guess my goals are going to be able to improve. So if, you know, I'm six in indoor, I hope to, you know, be higher in outdoor. And even next year, maybe um, just continue to move up the list. Um, but that's really, you know, you can always, the only thing you can ask for is to do your best, and that's kind of what I, what I'm trying to do. Um, Amy, you were an All-American in cross country, now a two-time All-American indoor. Do we want to be a two-time All-American outdoor? Uh, what are your goals as you move forward, both through the three different seasons that you compete in, but also, you know, individually? Coach and I have talked about um, this a lot, like starting freshman year, starting out slowly, and then the beginning of this year just doing like one event, obviously cross country. Um, we really wanted to be careful, like obviously we didn't want to run into any injuries, so doubling, doing the three and the five in one weekend. Um, it was a little risky, but we wanted to try it out, and it, it worked well. So going into the five um, outdoor, the 5K is an outdoor event, but there's no 3K. So um, I'm thinking maybe just sticking to the 5K for outdoors and placing higher and really racing and just putting it all out there and seeing what happens. Um, well, again, ladies, it was actually awesome to get those text messages and follow live, um, watch a little bit live, but especially just kind of see it all happen and, and unfold. And 
I know we didn't. I didn't expect you to finish tenth overall. In the, you know, tenth in the nation. That's that's really, really unbelievable. So congrats. Um, thanks for the time, and uh, best of luck in the outdoor season.